hello students today we are going to discuss about the important uh, topic bubble sort so you all know uh, what is the importance of sorting so there are different uh, techniques are available according to the time complexity uh, those techniques are efficient the first simple technique uh, sorting technique is bubble sort so now we will see discuss about how uh, the bubble sort will work see uh, sorting uh, takes an unordered collection and makes it an ordered one that is suppose this is unsorted list okay so this will be um, make uh, sorted sorted one means suppose the lowest some order it will maintain okay here from increasing to um, lowest to highest it is maintaining the lowest number to highest number order so this is called actually sorting okay so different techniques are available i already told so bubble sort how it will work we will see so bubble sort why it is called bubble sort bubbling up the largest element that means um, the largest element will uh, become the last element in the list that means traverse a collection of elements traversing means from the first element to last element just uh, visit the list and move the move from the front to end okay from the front to end we will move bubble the largest value to the end using pairwise comparisons and swapping okay so here from uh, first to last we will pairwise uh, 77 42 we will compare like this and the last element will be the highest one 101 will become the last element after each iteration okay so here the bubble sort will work like this. So here I'm showing you one example, this uh, example only. Here the list is six elements are there, okay? Uh, here the first two elements will compare, okay? 77 and 42. This is the ith element, this is the i plus one element, okay? First element and second element. So if you are comparing these two, if ith element is greater than i plus one element, then what will happen? So just we will swap it. So, okay, swapping means it will interchange the elements, okay? The position will be changed. So, here the 42 is here and 77 is here, okay? The position has been changed. So, next what will happen? Next it will compare 77 and 35. These two elements also will be compared. Okay, already second, the ith element is greater than i plus 1. That is second element is greater than the uh, third element. So, what will happen? It will swap and just it will exchange the uh, values okay so here also fourth and fifth elements also same like this okay so here what will happen it will swap and it will exchange okay so next here no need of swapping because fifth el element is already less than the sixth element okay so no need of swapping in this condition and here 101 and uh, 5 so here it will swap it okay uh, it will swap so the after the first uh, pass 101 that will be the highest element so it will be largest value correctly placed okay so like this uh, it will be so here notice that only the largest value is correctly placed okay all other values are still out of order we need to make a sorting here also so we need to repeat this process Okay, how many times we will uh, we need to repeat? If we have n elements, it each time bubble an element, we place it in correct position. Okay, so then we repeat this bubble up process up to n minus one times. So this guarantees uh, we will correctly place all n elements. So in previous um, slide, so here six elements are there. So n is six. So six minus one that means that means five times we need to repeat this process. Okay. So here uh, we will see five times how many. So here after the first iteration, 101 will place here. So second iteration, 77 will place here. And after that highest element, 42 will place here. So just uh, let me check whether it is doing correct or not. Let me check 12 and 35 here, 35 and 12. So 35 will place here, 12 will replace here. It will uh, swapping. 
and here 35 and 42 no need of uh, doing swapping and 42 and 5 we need it needs to swap because it is the largest element so 5 will come here and 42 the list is like this only 12 35 5 42 77 and 101 okay so um, after this pass 35 42 77 and okay and 5 will so how many uh, total processes uh, that means in minus one pass uh, iterations it has to do to complete the process here one need one thing we need to um, think about it here after every pass the comparisons will come less okay so here total six elements are there five comparisons okay one two three four five okay after five comparisons this one not one placed here here only four comparisons okay one two three and four only four comparison 77 will place here here one two three only three comparisons it will place here so that was reducing the number of comparisons at each iteration okay so here uh, total elements will compare then one not one will placed here uh, not uh, no need to compare total elements here only up to here we need to compare okay so after that up to here so it will uh, so at last iteration only two comparisons we need to one comparison we need to do that is to, uh, after, uh, between the two elements okay so here so uh, reducing the number of comparison for this is the fourth bubble up that is fourth time if you are uh, comparison only two comparisons we need to do between the three elements only one and two comparisons we need to do that's what uh, it is going to say so putting all together this is the example uh, program here so enter the elements and clears uh, the screen okay what is the array size here i have taken here the loop will be 0 to n so for entering the elements okay here i and j two loops we need to check the first loop if a of i is like greater than a of i plus one okay so then just compare swap it swap it means uh, we need to use temporary value temporary value is equal to a of i okay like if you want to swap two numbers a is equal to b so we will take uh, b is equal to a so we cannot swap it like this okay so how can we swap uh, two uh, elements okay just i am explaining suppose here i am taking a is equal to two okay and b is equal to three i want to exchange these two values how can we exchange so here we need to take one temporary value, okay? And one temporary value I am taking. So T is equal to, I am moving this A value, okay? Why I am taking the temporary value? If I took A is equal to B, the three will become here, three will come here, okay? So three will come here. So then what will be the A value? A value will be vanished. So how can you exchange for what will be the B value? So that's why T is equal to A. That's why T will contain the value of two. Then A will B, that is A will contain the three. Okay, B is also containing three only. And B it will be taking the value of T. Okay, B is taking the value of t okay so that means t value already we have taken that is equal to 2 so b will contain 2 so now a, will, a value is equal to 3 b value is equal to 2 like this the swapping will happen so what i am doing here also a of i is greater than a of i plus 1 this will be doing for the swapping t is equal to a of i okay a of i means some value that is equal to suppose a of 1 um the value of i is equal to 1. Suppose a of i plus 1 is equal to 2, 1 and 2. If I want to both exchange, I want to exchange. So t will contain the 1 and a of i will contain the 2. Okay, 2. And here it will be. So a of i will be 2 and a of i plus 1 is equal to t so like that swapping will work after sorting uh, just it will it is the only one loop we need to write okay after swapping as it is the values will come um, print here this is for the printing loop this is for the reading loop 
okay this is for the items for reading and this is for the sorting this conditions for the sorting and this is for the output after sorting what will be the output three uh, we need to take the three times we need to iterate the loops what will be the complexity here here two loops are uh, working so order of uh, here n times this is n times okay n plus n that is equal to n square it will order of uh, n square will be the uh, work it will work okay order of n square will be the complexity here so uh, that's it about the bubble sort uh, here i'm i'm going to um, show you uh, some more uh, Hmm. that using the virtual apps how can we do it okay so here uh, see i'm going to show you the virtual apps here so uh, the virtual apps uh, here uh, by opening the virtual apps uh, computer science engineering here data structures lab this will be your first okay here the bubble sort uh, will come okay so here we need to open it okay the bubble sort so the basic concept it will come and here also the demonstration also it will open okay so the demonstration also it will be opening see uh, see here if you want to uh, listen this you can listen okay so what will be the basic concept so bubble sort we took the simplest possible approach to sort an array so we took through an array in order uh, orderly fashion comparing only adjacent elements at a time okay adjacent elements elements means uh, consecutive element 1 and 2 2 and 3 these are called adjacent so whenever we see two elements which out of order so we will swap, swap it okay so we keep performing the above steps uh, over the array again and again we get the sorted form this is the simple uh, okay so this is bubble sort algorithm so what is the bubble sort so comparing the i th element and i plus one element okay i is first index and i plus one is the second index okay so if i th element is greater than i plus one just swap them we will swap run the steps one and two total n minus one times again the final sorted array okay so here um, so it will be showing the demonstration also it will be so see so the same demonstration it is showing okay and here um, bubbles are uh, demo okay here we can uh, observe it okay so the speed will less okay start just just look at here 98 and 25 don't know uh, sort sorted 98 and 19 sorted uh, swapped 98 21 again swapped 98 and 18 again swapped 59 swapping because it is greater than 98 24 swapping because it is highest one always it will be swapped okay swap required Ninety six and ninety eight, no need of swapping. Ninety eight and ninety three swapping is required. Okay. So again, it will do go on like this. Nineteen and twenty five, it will swap. Okay. In the first iteration, ninety eight uh, become the first uh, last highest element will be placed in the last position. Okay. Here, 96 need to come in at this place. So 96 came, okay. These two elements already sorted, okay. So here it will check up to this. So here it will go on like this. If you want to um, reset also, you can reset. If you want to pause, if you, you can pause it, okay? And if you want to increase the speed also, you can increase it. So here the bubbles are practiced uh, here. I can suppose here observations, if you want to do. Uh, so here no need of swapping. So next you just. 31 and 34 here also no need of swapping next 34 60 no need of swapping okay our observation is correct 60 and 95 also no need of swapping 
95 and 81 here we need to swap okay and 95 to swap 95 and 49 here also we need to swap no need of swapping 31 no need of here also no need here also no need here we need to swap and here we need to swap okay so next here we swap swap okay next here we need to swap no need of here we need to know no here we need to swap no need no need swap okay so the sort is complete here okay so this is the bubble sort uh, practice suppose here exercise so you just do on your own way how to swap uh, complete this and the bubble sort quiz also here so if you want to swap the i plus one element of the an array while doing the bubble sort when do you swap which condition will works so this will be the condition a of i is greater than a of i plus one okay so here and the next is which element reaches its correct position after the first iteration so first iteration after the completion of first iteration the greatest element will reach okay and how many comparisons do we need make for the one iteration of an array of size okay four so how many comparisons three comparisons we need to do okay so here if you submit you can check the score so correct if it is correct correct otherwise no okay so these are the um, how can we uh, do using the virtual labs you can do the bubble sort okay uh, here this is the example hope you understood the lecture okay